Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Jessica Charms, Jessica Plays video series, where I, Jessica Charms, play some old school retro video games and suck at it. <laughs> All right, to be fair, I always suck so far at Samurai Showdown. I did pretty well at Golden Sun, but I lost the last episode, so nobody could really see my triumph against Fusion Dragon and Satara Seminari. But I have been whooping Summon Knight Swordcraft Stories ass. I have also played Soul Calibur 2, but I have not uploaded those videos because I'm not comfortable uploading every single thing I record. I have to draw a line somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I did, I played The Sims 3 and I sucked at that for the little bit that I played, so yeah. But anyway, enough of this bullshit. I am playing some of the post game stuff because we royally ripped. That stupid Summon Spirits asshole, a brand new one, last episode. And this time around, I want to see what some of the stuff was afterwards. Now, like I said in the last video, if my Summon Knight Swordcraft videos, especially this one and any of the ones before, hit 1,000 views and 500 likes, I will 100% this. Like, I will get all the spears, all the swords, all the axes, all the knuckles, all the drills. 100% this. I will even look up a guide to figure out where they all are if I have to. What materials I need and everything else. So that's your goal out there, you lovely viewers that are watching me and thinking, well, I want to see you 100% this. Why can't you be like Gillard or uh, Jared Khalil, the completionist? Why can't you 100% this? Well, I will. 1,000 views, 500 likes, and I will view, I will basically 100% this. Every single weapon, because there is a sequel to this game that I do want to play, and I've never played it before. So, let's dive back into Summonite Swordcraft Story. I should get my friend to play this game. I, re I really freaking should. I want to see what I'm all getting materialized from all the crap that I fucking <laughs> harvested. <coughs> um, getting down to floor 50 in that Goddamn, um, dungeon. Fire Dragon Fang. Because you're going to need a lot of stuff to do all of this. And that's where a majority of the time's going to come in. It's going to come from tracking down the pieces that I need, tracking down the monsters that I need to defeat, and things like that. So it's not exactly an easy task. Hence why I said I will look up a guide for it. And I basically, I have notebooks out my ass. Because <clears throat> one of the main rules that I always had is that you can never have enough paper. And the ironic thing is, every single time I need to jot something down, I never have paper to do it. So I have a crap ton of paper everywhere, including notebooks. And what I'll do if, like I said, if my video gets... I don't want to do that. Oh, that's bad. Asshole persistence, spike boots, gold necklace, crimson beads. Ooh, that would have been nice to know. Alright. <clears throat> but, like I said, if my, um, but yeah, if my videos get a decent amount of views, and I set the bar at 1,000 views, and uh, 500 likes, then I will gladly, and I do mean that, I will gladly go and essentially finish the game. It won't be easy, but I will do it. Okay, oh, okay, the silver one rose it by like 25, I think, so, oh, wait a minute, what's that blade I have equipped first? Oh, yeah, the Holy Buster, that's right. Because I liked using the other blades better. Alright, so let's go see my master, because there's got to be some more sword techniques. Oh, yeah, that's right, he did give me another sword. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not a sword technique. I did get another technique uh, from him at the one point. Not what I wanted to do. I don't remember which one it was. At least I can finally make this. So let's just make this one. The first ever axe that I can actually make. And it's going to be like a god-awful one too, isn't it? 
The Aqua Edge Axe. <laughs> oh yeah, that was um well worth the time and effort to get. I think it was a knuckle that I got. Yep, there it is. But like I said, if you want to see me get all the weapons, I will look up a guide for it. I will get all the weapons, all the... Yeah, I'll get all that stuff. So, but video has to get, like, any of my Sunday Night videos, 1,000 views and 500 likes. Okay, he's literally just going to... Yeah, he's just going to give me another technique. So, I don't want to get all the techniques yet. Yep, so there's more floors that were added, which is what we're going to go look at quick. I am now the Craft Knight of Iron. Wait, I'm actually curious what that idiot's selling over here now, the one that charges an arm and a leg for everything. 300. 300 for a freaking bandage! Yeah. Okay, yeah, the silver ring gives me a 25, a plus 25 attack. That's what I have on. He doesn't have much of anything. So like I said, that's the thing that I liked about Golden Sun, is that every single town with the weapon and armor salesman, they always had different items you could get. Now it's basically, oh yeah, you get some stuff, but not a lot. Yeah, let's give this a shot. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the reason why a lot of people hate this game. They have probably never played it. And are like, oh, well, I never played this game. There we go, he's done. Yep, victory is mine. Oh, crap. He's done. Next victim. Oh, great. She got behind me now. Ow. She's done. Next. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm going to have Kryn finish you off. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just That was just worth it. I just saw that worth it. Ow. All right, jerk. Feel the power of wind. It's one of the elements in Captain Planet.
While he's on the ground, I'm going to quick heal up. Yeah. I hate the drills. They're actually one that, I mean, when I first played this game, I loved them. But <clears throat> nowadays, they are a pain in the ass. All right, now I remember you. Sanery can't be beaten e easily. Hey, I have a little bit of a twister. There's a cold snap coming in. Feel it. I know I have to try to beat them quickly, but... Ow! Got her. All right. I'm not, and in case anybody's wondering why I'm coughing, I finished off my Skittles. This, this is the third one of these I recorded today, and I ate some Skittles. That was my dessert. Time to heal. Oh, don't you dare heal! Really? Got ya! I win! It's basically a boss rush, and honestly, it's not that bad. It's not a bad boss rush. It's it's a bad all right. It's a boss rush. It's not a bad boss rush. Of course the guy's a lance user, like a spear user. Of course he is. <clears throat> hey, mine can do that too. Check it out. But like that, of course your money won't be refunded. Yeah, it's a thousand bohm. Uh, I probably can earn that back in the dungeons. Oh, not again.
Oh, you bastard! Oh, you cock-sucking bastard. So now I remember the strategy to beat him. Because you're still in the running animation yet when he launches his first attack. You can actually dodge it by running straight into him. It'll be like he missed and hit thin air. That's how you can nail him. Victory! How many battles was this again? Because I'm starting to get my ass kicked here. Time to heal. Okay, it's a penguin with aviator shades. With a freaking fire no. I'm I'm not okay with this at all. Yo bitch. How you doing? Hey, I'm going to try to break your weapon, because I don't think I'll be able to break your HP. Oh, maybe I can. The only downside is I have no more heals, so I'm screwed on that. Same strategy as with Ureka. That's the secret to Spears. I remembered what it was, and it skipped my mind on it. Oh my god, I beat it! Alright, so my game clear time was that. I don't get any money, though, I don't think. But, hey, at least I got something cool out of it. What did I win? Yeah. So basically, it's a time battle to see if you can make yourself stronger. Cool. I'm not going to keep doing that, but you get the general idea of it. All right. Yeah, the only downside though is that you actually do lose health. Oh, you know, I want to go up to the second floor yet. So this video is going to be a little longer than the others, but not by that much. So we'll go up to the third floor. I should just be able to enter this now, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, now I don't have to sneak around. I said I just can't go in there. Oh, yeah, that one's restricted. But I can still go to everywhere else in here, but I can't go down into there, huh? Yeah, okay, that makes perfect sense. Oh, yeah, no, I can go everywhere else but down there. Because that was the secret entrance area, and you don't need to use secret entrance anymore, because now you're a craft lord, you can just go wherever the fuck you want to go. Alright, let's go see the old geezer. He's probably alive yet. Yo, old man, I want to talk. Alright, where's the old bastard? All right, let me go down to the second floor and talk with the, the other guy that you were supposedly 
so that's actually kind of the interesting thing in here is that this game definitely gave um LGBTQ vibes a long time before they ever were a thing. So, like I said, if you slept on this game, thirty thousand for that. Holy shit! Wow, thirty thousand. Holy hell, that's a lot of moolah. But yeah, if you ever slept on this game, do yourself a favor, download the emulator for it like I did, and play it. It's This is worth it. If you can get a copy of it, by all means, get a copy and play the fuck out of this game. I mean, it is it is honestly worth the time and effort to play. Especially if you want to 100% it, that is... That's a commitment because you are learning every spear technique, every axe technique, every every weapon basically in this entire game. Like hands down. All right. I'm going down to floor 50. <clears throat> so one of the cool things that you can actually still use this room. Save spots in here. You can recover your HP and everything else. That is actually one of the cool things that this room stays accessible to you. And you can actually change partners. So then I, I can leave Corinne here and take the other one. That's all you can do here. You can't craft weapons here. But you can basically say, oh, yeah, I want to. And you can also heal here too. But what's the fun in that? What's the point now? You can literally just go um, right into the next room and heal. So these are the newer areas inside. You do get a lot, um, a lot of different crap in here. Although the encounter rate goes way the hell up, and all of the enemies are way the hell stronger. Only downside, though, and I did forget this, is that when you change partners, you need to re-equip any spells that they had. That is honestly the only downside of this, if you do do that, because they do not, they don't do it automatically. So they won't remember, oh yeah, I had this weapon and I had this spell. No, you need to re-equip all of it yourself. Which I actually do find pretty damn asinine. Yeah, I'm going to make it magic. I do find that pretty damn asinine in a way, but to each their own. Like I said, this area, the monsters are a lot stronger. So you really need to be on your game. By the way, the more you use a certain power, the stronger you get with it, the quicker you are to use it. The less you've used it, the more you have to work on it. But this is her ultimate move anyway, so <clears throat> it does take a lot of basically power, but it's a one-off move. As in, she can literally only use it one time. One time only. Like I said, you can definitely tell that I am a lot weaker. But... At the same time, this level, this area, you are supposed to be way higher leveled, way more skilled. That's basically the entire gist of this part. I mean, if you use Corinne's ultimate one time, it's used up. So you do have to practice that a few times to get it stronger. But yeah, you get the idea. Well, I should say your summons um, ultimate.
The one thing I do really wish that they would do with this game, and I did say this for any RPG, that if you ever um, make an RPG, always have it in that the minute you level up, your HP goes back to normal. Like, because you know your HP is going up when you level up. That's a given. It's a given that your HP is going to go up. So, if you're ever making an RPG, please make sure that that's one of the things you have in it. That your HP will return to normal upon leveling up. Like, it'll automatically go back up. It's not a bad idea if you don't have it go back up. But it does make the game a little more playable. Because say you're in a horrible spot. You just leveled up. But your HP is, like, pathetic. You get one shot, and your system doesn't have the ability to auto, like, load up where you were. Then you're screwed. You gotta go all the way back, you miss leveling up, and you're basically punishing them for playing the game. It's a horrible concept, and I will stand by that. There we go. I just leveled up. So see, because I leveled up, my HP should automatically go up because I am gaining more HP. But I understand why it doesn't. I'm just saying that when it comes to games like this, because I know Pokemon's the same way, I really wish that they would have that ability in it where, hey, I leveled up. Can my HP go back up with it? There are some games that do do it, but they make it more difficult in other ways, which is fine. There is a, you have to find the trade-off somewhere. No, it's fine. I mean, you do need to find the trade-off somewhere. I just realized it came down that way. Goodbye. But... Yeah, like I said, I mean, I understand that you do need the trade-off somewhere else. You can't just have it be, okay, um, you don't take any damage, blah, blah, blah. You're going to heal all the time, blah, blah, blah. I get that. Or just make it an ability you can get. So there's a free little tip for you. If you ever decide to create your own video game, there's a tip from Jessica. For the love of God, include that. You can, um, that it auto-heals you when you reach a certain level. Or it's a skill that your character can get. Even if you don't want to have it for every single opponent. Or every single, um, let's say, enemy that you face. Or every single character. At least having the ability where, you're auto -heal it, where you auto-heal would be pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to blow you bastards away. I want to see how much like, this P I get from you guys. Yeah, that's basically what you have to do. And I would go through and... Wait, let me go back up. There might be another entrance over here. Nope. Okay. I just want to kind of like get down a little further in, but... Again, this is the part where you definitely need to be at a much higher level. You need to be a lot stronger. So they were expecting you to like battle every single opponent. Have a crap ton of EXP by this point. That you're basically, you're holding your own against these, but that they're still going to be a little stronger. If that's what they wanted, it's called weapon um, techniques. Okay, you want me to make swords? I need techniques. 
There's more than what I have sword wise in this. I know there are elemental ver uh, variants, but you get the idea. There are some things you can get that are really useful. I think I just got one of them. Yep, I think I did. Yep, Ancient Bracelet takes my uh, defense up, but my attack will drop. But so you get what I mean. Like down here is the better weapons, the better equipment, the better materials, but the higher up you go, the higher up, you know, the better your stuff is. But there is an ebb and flow to this. And the downside is that while you can get the better techniques or the better materials, it's going to come at a price, and that is that you're going to get your ass kicked a lot harder than you should. I know there are teleporters down here. All right, well, there's the way down. As you can see how all the enemies are a lot stronger. They're all a lot... This is basically post-game. I love post-game stuff, especially when it's a really fun game. I love post-game stuff. I just wish that when it came to games like this, again, I'm going to harp on the, it would be really nice if you had that when I level up, my HP goes back to normal. Because that would make me wanting to traverse this a lot more fun. Now it's basically, okay, I have to traverse to go down, but at the same time, do I have to? I'm not exactly being forced to, there's not a gun against my head. It's out of curiosity for what's down here, that's drawing me to it. That's kind of the thing. There we go. So, yeah. I think there's like up to 100 floors down here. I know 50 was the maximum for uh, the main quest. I think it goes up to like 100 floors. Don't quote me on it. I really wish that there was a way that I could um, test that theory. But like I said, um, I will 100% this. It, it'll take, it, it's not going to be a simple, okay. Um, it'd be like an afternoon or something. This would be like a couple videos worth, at least. But I'm willing to do it if... Uh, where the, oh, I was going to say, where the hell is everybody? Uh, but I'm willing to do it, though, if my videos get like a crap ton of views. I, like to, I know that already. Yeah, I know that, Mom. I just kind of wish that Oh, cool. I ended up getting an item. What item did I get? Flameproof ring. Has fire damage. Wow. Like I said, remember in the first episode I said there's something in here? Yeah, you need the small key, which you don't get to the end of the game, to basically tell you that there's a... a yeah, okay. All right, let's go bother Sanary and see if she's around. Because like I said, I know that there's a lot more you can do yet in this game. There's a crap ton yet to do. These two morons. Yeah, I'm a craft lord. Bite me. You making weapons. Be like your father. Yeah, okay. I love how everybody's up on the second floor. Alright, so nobody's there. Someone's razzy, I thought it was a sinner. Yeah. Cool. Anybody want to give me a cool technique that I can can use? <laughs> because most of my swords are uh, kind of super ultra suck. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. Um, I guess is that. Oh yeah, let me go see that idiot. He's probably pissed that I kicked his ass. So far, I have not run into anybody from the main game. So I have not run into Sanry. I have not run into. Um, Razzy, so where are they? This is almost like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? 
or Where on Earth is Carmen Sandiego? Or either one. I, I like the Where on Earth is Carmen Sandiego. My mom liked the game show. I liked the cartoon. That one was my favorite. I hate you people so much. Yeah, I kicked his ass and I don't even get to see it. Sucks. I kicked his ass and I don't even get to see it. You don't realize that I beat you, right? Yeah, and you never will. All right, I mean, I'm kind of, I kind of wish that there would have been a better. Uh, I know, like I said, there's a lot of other weapons to get in this game. I could literally probably spend two or three months recording, not what I want to do, two or three months recording gameplay footage of this, trying to get every single weapon, going through all of the crap to get the weapons. But I don't really know if it's worth the time and effort to do it. Like I said, if I don't know if the views are going to be there, I kind of do have other games I can play versus doing absolutely positively nothing but this. So, yeah, I wonder if I can still borrow his boat. Can I still steal your boat? Nope. I can't even borrow. I can't even borrow. Ahem, take your boat. That's great. So the other areas are now um, completely locked off to me, I guess. Great. The hell am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Aside from explore the rest of the dungeon. But like I said, I just, I wish that there was a little more to this game. Um, at least post game wise, aside from going down to the dungeon, getting more of the stuff, go down to the dungeon, get more of the stuff. Yeah, but that's basically all there is to this game. Actually, she's right. I, I remember right, it's about 170. And some of them are deeper in the labyrinth. You will find, let's say, um, actually, I think it's some materials. Where you will get, let's say, uh, I want to get rid of that. You'll get, it's like a treasure chest, and there's a technique in a treasure chest. And there are some further down in the dungeon. So that actually wasn't too far off, but. It's kind of spot on. And there are also techniques that kind of come about because of fiddling and doing other things. I'm going to actually show one. Because remember the ladle that I hate so much? Well, you could actually make one with Mystic Ore and effectively give it an element. So, like say you want to use uh, Mystic Ore on this item, then it'll give you the option to make an elemental version of that. So, like, I just got the Fire Dagger. But that's basically it. And then you have to track down more of the items, more of the characters, and things like that. Some of these, uh, the durability is a lot stronger, but the attack still sucks. Like how I could use Mystic Ore on this one. That takes six Mystic Ore. 
Let's do okay. I'll use Gladius. I'll finish off my Mystic Ore. So then I'll have to track down more Mystic Ore anyway. That is basically it. And you have like now I have the Spark Gladius. They're not extremely powerful, unfortunately. They do suck. Uh, most of them just have better durability. Like, see how the Ladle here only has 25 durability? This one has a 200 durability. But the attack and defense is still... Well, the defense is better, but the attack still sucks. So it's not like you're using it specifically for combat. This is for... Oh, I made this. I got these Mystic Gores, and I'm you know, hammering this away every single uh, time. But that's how you get different techniques. And I think the only way you can get... I think you can get Mystic Ore back by... Check. I wonder if I can... I think I can get it back by destroying one of those. Yeah, okay, so you get back... I think it's like half of whatever you put in. Oh, no. No, that one actually give me back all eight. So I could get rid of the hot iron ladle here, which I really don't want so i can just use that back get back my material for it but you kind of get what i mean here and you still have the technique then because it saw that you made it so it knows that it exists that's basically it you can sell a lot of this crap chuck it back in to get uh, materials like i'm doing here you're not going to get a crap ton of it back but you get the idea like, if you didn't really want to have a whole crap ton of stuff or a crap ton of weapons, you just, hey, I need to make this because it's a technique. I don't really want to sell it because it's not that good. Yeah. You can ditch the weapons. But, like I said, that's basically the gist of it. Uh, like I said, I wish there were more... I wish you could get more of the sword techniques right off the bat, but he will not give you sword techniques. He only gives you these. And you got to track down like the other people to get better weapons and stuff like that. But that's the general gist of what's left of the game. Uh, there is she wasn't wrong about that actually. Um, there is about a hundred different types because, like you can see here, there's two of them that I'm missing in between here. So there's the Messer Blade, twenty three and twenty four, and then Holy Buster. I'm missing twenty one. So you're thinking, okay, there's an elemental version of this, but there's not. But, yeah, it, you see what I mean? There's, like, different ones. So, obviously, because you have the sharp dagger. So, I would assume that... Hold on, let me check. That's what I was saying about how there are different ones you can get. And most of them are just... Yeah, see, like, I can use Mystic Ore and make that one. So, that gives me another technique. It's just basically a elemental version, like how the Repu Blade. But you don't always get that. Okay, so like the Bast... Alright, so the Bastard Sword gets a new one. So that gives you a couple more techniques. But like I said, they're not all that great. And then if you don't have enough material, you have to get rid of shit. At least to get back the, uh, you know, I'm going to get rid of the ladle. I don't really like the ladle. <laughs> Him and his stupid ladle. All right. That's basically how you get the other stuff. All right, so there is one for the mystic for that one, so that's cool. The Master Blade does get an element one. I thought it did. And we get the Aqua Hound which is a Mester Blade fortified with water. So the Mester Blade had a durability of 95. This one has a durability of 100. And then there's still one missing in here. So you obviously, I mean, like I said, you're not going to get um, every single one off the bat. You have to collect a lot of the Mystic Ore. You have to collect a lot of other items. I could see if there's a cheat code for it, but... That's half the fun in this game. Yep, yeah, so there's one for the Holy Buster. And there's another one for that. And there's another one. Once you get the... There you go. 
Once you get the elemental version, that's usually it for that one then. Then you just need the new weapon. But this is sort of what it was expecting you to do throughout the game. Like 85. So, uh, the one I'm using is a Repu Blade, which is durability 77, attack of 44. So, this one here, this is a Heavy Blade. Takes my agility to zero. But this one has a durability of 99, so it's a 9x extra durability, and a few extra attack. So, let me take a look here. So if I were to equip that in place of the Holy Buster, what would that give me? Yeah, it takes my durability, goes down by one. My agility goes up a little bit. Um, but my attack and my defense go down because the Holy Buster is stronger, obviously. But either I don't have enough of the uh, Mystic Ore, which is a possibility to make the Elemental. Because I know there's an Elemental version of it, because I remember getting it. I probably just don't have enough Mystic Ore yet, but that's basically the gist of it. So that's going to be it for this. Um, like I said, I will come back and gladly 100% this. Uh, but again, 1,000 likes, or sorry, 500 likes and 1,000 views, and I'll gladly do that. And seeing how my... Uh, channel intro has over 20,000 views. Me asking for a thousand people to watch um, my Summon Night Swordcraft story videos, there's a lot of them by the time this one's up, so it's not a far-fetched idea. And I do have other videos I can do. There is a sequel to this game, which I am willing to play, but I do have some other stuff I can upload. I can put up um, Soul Calibur, I guess, uh, and a few other things. So, Keep all that in mind, but until next time, I am bowing out for the night. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in, for hanging out with me as I played Summon Knight Swordcraft Story. If you enjoyed this game, give this video a like, thumbs up, comment below. It's good for the YouTube algorithm. I am Jessica Charms. I am out of here. Bye, everybody. I love you all. Bye.